Thank you everybody for joining me for this week's Thursday Weekly Access Stream. My name is Sammy. I appreciate you guys for joining me today as we play Pio Fiore Faded Memories in preparation for 1926, which will be coming out next week, September 22nd, 2022. And it's, you know, at least for me specifically, this is my first time playing a sequel, not a fan disc, but a sequel of a Otome game. So there's a lot for me to sort of... Uh, learn with this one and now i get to do the same with gil gil is a huge fan favorite and uh i'll i'll jump into this and we'll talk about it as we're playing a little bit of it but i i can kind of get why i can kind of get why so what happens uh in this route very specifically is that basically the route starts out with this big schmoz uh in the church right and through this big schmoz what happens basically is that uh Everybody who is a love interest in the game, almost, I think. Everybody shows up in a big schmoz. Everybody starts fighting in the church. And Orlock saves you and goes, run away, right? And you run away all the way and you accidentally run into Gilbert. Gilbert just recognizes that there is just this huge thing happening right now. And he recognizes that you're kind of out of breath and through being kind of, uh, kind of a ladies man a little bit and kind of understanding that this girl Liliana is not typical. Uh, she, he takes her into the Visconti Manor and takes care of her. Through this time actually, and a little bit, uh, just soon afterwards, uh, what happens is that Gil actually gets arrested for um, a counterfeiting ring, and he has no he has no affiliation to this counterfeiting ring as of right now. We don't know. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. But as of right now, basically what happens throughout the rest of it is that the church has some ties with the Falzone. The Falzone were to keep basically the keepers of the relic and the key maiden, the key maiden being Liliana. And throughout that time. You have three months to basically solve this counterfeit ring. Otherwise, the church is gonna take away the extraterrestrial, uh, extra, extra, they're gonna take that away from Berlone. Berlone's actually been special because it's holy ground to a degree, and the church has protected that along with the Falzones. But because the church feels like the Falzones aren't taking really good care of Berlone, they have Berlone, they have three months to clear up this counterfeit stuff otherwise it's just gonna go out and basically pretty much because they have this special freedom Berlone is a, kind of like a tourist town and they get a lot of money and it, it's turned into a thriving town despite the mafia however if they take this away Berlone is basically just gonna go to sh so we get to that we we're solving it we get piece by piece we discover that there's a couple of things the the uh the head mafia family that works with yang uh is maybe angling to cut out the lao shu uh it seems like the church is kind of in on it a little bit as well uh the last thing we kind of discovered is that the casino might be in on it as well and we're sort of putting like the last pieces together as we go it's the day before the trial because obviously gilbert got arrested he got bailed out um and now we're about the day before the trial Oliver, his trusted, uh, Gilbert's trusted best friend, and basically his treasurer, uh, his lawyer, his, the, the dude who does, um, pretty much everything for Gil, is his right-hand man, um, he gets attacked the night before after meeting Nicola and, and exchanging some important information, which we don't know very, exactly just yet. Um, and uh, it seems like we are assuming at the moment that Niccolo might be dead and that Oliver, Oliver has actually been, may have been maimed uh, with a bullet. So he might actually be dying at the moment. Now, this goes into chapter seven, where we are right now, uh, and we'll move on. And I'll talk a little bit about why I think, I'll talk about why I agree with you as he is an unexpected babe, because I agree. I, I'll tell you why I don't think it's ex entirely more Kubo this time. I think the writing does a lot of good work here. Sometimes I think it's all more Kubo because, you know, he's kind of the goat. But uh, this time I actually think more Kubo helps. And then the writing actually does some really good work. Uh, not to say that it's not like it doesn't have inside of 
俺は、俺は、俺は、俺は、俺は、俺は、俺は、俺は、俺は、俺は、俺は、俺は、俺は、俺は、俺は、俺は、俺は、俺は、俺は、俺は、俺は、俺は、俺は、俺は、俺は、
murder guy the whole time where he's just really smart right i think that like it this route definitely shows this route and yang's route obviously show yang's strongest suits and i think that's pretty cool oh oh see when you put when you put the lao shoe like this they're so cool you wouldn't guess that they're all crazy murder mania <laughs> Look at her, she's so happy. You imagine, right? You just see some, you see some dude, you're in Italy, you're in 1925 Italy. You see some dude like reeling back, has two tiger hook swords. You've seen, you've never seen these types of swords in your entire life, right? You can't even comprehend how they're used. You, you, like a Guandao and uh, uh, I forgot what the other one was called but they're both like just big slashy weapons, right? You see tiger hook swords and you're just like, what is this? What am I doing here? And he starts laughing with them in your hands. Yeah, I'm out. No, thank you. Going the other direction. That dude's crazy. I mean, not to say that like, you know, the little girl, the Guandao stabbing somebody who's already dead is probably not also crazy. <laughs> I like how he didn't even worry about Orla getting out or not. He's just like, oh, you got out? Good for you. Orla and Yang not, you know, threatening to kill each other, but rather working together begrudgingly is pretty funny. That's what I'm saying. The fi This route, I should say the final route anymore. Uh, Gil's route has a lot of really fun interactions between all the... In between the uh, love interests in the from the previous routes, it's really fun. This is a fun as hell route to play. But I don't hate it. <laughs> what a line read. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> what a line read. ようやく起動したようです。私が this is happening at the uh what's it called? The uh the factory where they're pa uh, printing the the bills. They're blowing it up right now. Oh no, they're just blowing up the the casino. Ah, okay, never mind. They're just going to set the whole casino on fire. My bad. I was like, oh, that makes sense. Destroy the evidence. Not destroy the whole thing. Of course. Of course. Look at him. He's fine. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Oliver's such a boss. He's like, yeah, I was probably bleeding in the middle of that trial, but, uh, you know. <laughs> Lily's going around like, oh, Luca, I'm happy you're fine. Oliver, thank you so much. You're happy. Gilbert's like, what about me? Aren't you worried about me? He's like, brother, I watched you run into that fire. Fuck. <laughs> Screw you. You did this to yourself. <laughs> you made Lily mad. You, you yeah, obviously really? were... Did the worst thing here. <laughs> Even Lucas is ragging on him. <laughs> Lucas like, boo. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Corner him while I was sick. 
男の嫉妬は見苦しいぜギルそんなんじゃ姉ちゃんに愛想つかされるのも Man, 早いかもしんねえな You know you kind of wish you kind of wish that the that the sequel to Pio Fiore was like 10 years in the future so you could see like grown up Luca This kid's kind of a shit <laughs> <laughs> But it would have been really cool, like, uh, if you got it like 10 years into the future and, like, he ends up working with the Visconti the entire time, ends up being, like, a really big deal with the Visconti and works with Oliver and Gil. I think that's, like, a pretty cool, like, you know, I could see I could see why people want to wanted uh, Roberto character as a dateable, as a love interest. Not only is he very, he seems like he's pretty teasable, but uh. He's got, he, he's got that like uh. He's, he's got a different personality than everybody else as well. So it's really, it, I think it makes sense. Uh, that'll be it. We're finishing a couple minutes early. Not a big deal. But uh, yeah. Anything else? Uh, I hope to see you guys tomorrow. If not, I understand. But uh, until then, you guys have a good rest of your week. Hope to see you guys at least for 1926 launch day. And uh, if you haven't already, go play some video games. Enjoy the rest of your week. Have some fun. You deserve it. But first and foremost, you guys have a good uh, rest of your week. Take it easy. <laughs>